What's up guys? I've got a very, very value packed video for, day, for you today on lower back pain, how to fix it, what muscles are hurting you and what to do about it. So the reason why I compiled this list of muscle groups here, these are the lower back pain culprits that I found from reading an insane amount of trigger point therapy and massage therapy research. This book I have here is Trevallon Simon's Myofascial Pain and Dysfunction. It is 2,100 pages and a couple hundred of those are on low back pain specifically and these muscles which way the fibers cross, where the pain patterns are, everything that could possibly be hurting you muscularly, and basically I'm just gonna boil down the lower back pain element of that. So after four years of really bad low back pain, this is what finally got me over the hump. This is what got me broke through my back pain. Once I figured this out, once I owned these muscles, learned how to release them with QL claw, I don't have pain anymore. And that's, you can't, that's the most valuable thing in the world. That's why I created this channel. That's what I'm sharing with you guys today. So first muscle, QL, quadratus lumborum. So for all these muscles, I'm gonna go through them really quickly. I'm gonna show you the pain pattern of where the pain manifests in the body if with an image. And then I'm gonna tell you why it hurts. We already know that you can release it with this. If you wanna watch those video tutorials, you can do that as well. And one would be really beneficial to perform release on these muscles. And I'm making this for a local CrossFit gym owner for his gym, and I thought it would really give you guys a lot of benefits. So I'm doing it here on the YouTube channel as well. So first we have the quadratus lumborum pain pattern. I'll put up here. <laughs> this is the only muscle that's actually in the lower back that's gonna to contribute to lower back pain. And this one is one that's typically a, an overuse or a lifting muscle as all this stuff I'm saying here isn't stuff I just pull out my ass. This is stuff that Trevallon Simons and all of these 60 plus doctors research for decades. So this, is, this isn't this is just my opinion here. I'm, I'm translating this and making it more digestible for you because reading 2100 pages was not fun. So QL, that one's gonna be typically a lifting induce injury or playing a sport or doing a high level activity that your body's not conditioned to do. So say you play basketball for the first time in years and your back's all sore, QL is probably one of the muscles that are at fault. QL claw release, very easy with this, you just lay out the tool. I would recommend doing it first thing in the morning because this is one that can really tighten up at night and post-workout. And two sets of about a minute each side is going to be great. Next we have the psoas and the iliacus. I'm going to talk about these together because they are often referred to as one, the iliopsoas complex in some cases. So these are the two hip flexors on the front of the body. If you have a lot of back pain from sitting and um, being too sedentary, those are the muscles that tighten up all day from sitting in a chair. So if you have, if you work a desk job more than eight hours, that's very unnatural for the human experience and our bodies are not built to do that. We're not cut out for that type of strain on those hip flexor muscles. So these are on the front of the body, the hip flexor muscles here, but they will refer a lot of pain to the lower back and the upper hip. Heel claw release, you just lay on it. So as release using this part, iliac is using this part. You can check out those video tutorials as well. You wanna do this pre to help open up those hips and post sitting. Again, about two minutes each side, but this is one that you can do a lot longer. You wanna just take some deep breaths in there and really bust up that tissue and tightness because this pain pattern is gnarly and it can cause a whole lot of lower back pain when tight. Next, we have gluteus medius. And this is, in my opinion, the least understood of the lower back pain culprits. This is an upper glute with one of the worst pain patterns and contributes to more pain than maybe any other muscle because this can cause a lot of pain from overuse and from sitting. So like the QL, this is one that's more of a lifting muscle. So when you, it's like say, you're, again, you're playing basketball for the first time in years, your gluteus medius is not conditioned or cut out to do that. Good chance it locks up, gets tight, causes pain there. This is also one that feels very therapeutic with the QL claw. It's actually probably one I use it the most on still today because when I play hockey or do sports that I'm, <laughs> I push myself too hard, that's one that just gets tight in me repeatedly. So the glute medius, that's gonna be the upper glute. The potential cause of pain is typically a high impact movement just like in the QL, but it's often made worse by sitting. So you might feel a lot of discomfort in the lower back and the upper glute, maybe even down a little bit more into the lower buttock because the, the gluteus medius pain pattern is just disgusting. Um, kill car release is very easy. You wanna do this post-workout, maybe even pre-workout a little bit because releasing these are gonna help you get in just a better spiral alignment pattern because the gluteus medius can pull down the pelvis and get you into a little posterior pelvic tilt if it's too tight. Do this for about two, two sets of a minute each side, and this one you're gonna find relief very quickly. This one's probably my favorite, and uh, one that I think a lot of people should do. All right, last we have the piriformis, and this is this little butt muscle that lies right under gluteus maximus and causes a lot of problems when it gets tight. 
When it gets very, very tight, it can cause this thing called piriformis syndrome, where it gets so tight that it compresses the sciatic nerve running down the leg, right from the lower back all the way down to the foot. So if you get like numbness, tingling, pain, just shooting down the outer leg and all the way down to the foot, and you suspect it's muscle induced, this is your culprit right here, this little guy. It's a little tiny muscle in the butt, but it causes so much freaking problems. So this one actually refers more pain to the tailbone and the outer glute, but yeah, I'm including it in lower back pain because a lot of times when I talk to people about, oh, my lower back hurts, they point to their tailbone or they point to their outer glute. They don't, they don't know where their back is. So piriformis is definitely one that wants to be on this list and it just causes a lot of pain in that whole area. So piriformis, muscle location, deep glute, cause of pain. This one also, so this one's an external hip, hip rotator. So if you're doing a cut in sport or you're swinging a baseball bat in like a rotational movement or anything where your foot's planted and you have to go the other direction, that's where piriformis turns on and that's also when it typically can get overworked if it's not conditioned or strong enough to do that movement. So a lot of times post-workout, this one can be really good. And again, just like Gullius medius, you're probably gonna hurt this one from like a single high impact event and then it's gonna be made worse just by standing, sitting, doing anything sedentary. You're gonna be just uncomfortable all the time. So this one's very easy with Kilo Claw as well. I've had tutorials on that one before. It's like I mentioned, post and about two sets in one minute each. So all these muscles are the main lower back pain contributors. They are how I got out of my pain. They're why I created this, why I created this channel, why this whole journey is very important to me because I don't think enough people understand this. And I think if more people did, a lot less pain would exist in the world. So make sure you, if you have low back pain right now, or if you think you have problems with any of these muscles, like for reference, I had problems with all of these when I was in my worst state in low back pain. Most of you will probably only have problems with a couple, but either way, if you want to own it and you want to get over it, this is your, this is your solution. This is what I spent about a year and a half making, and this one I'm trying to spread through my YouTube channel right now. So hope you've found some value in this. Make sure to like the video, comment, subscribe, and uh, see you in the next one.